became aware of family therapy in the early 70s when family therapy was just beginning at that time. Very few places. Bouverie was the only place you could learn about family therapy and you actually had the opportunity to work with families, not just read about what family therapy was. I wanted to have a good understanding of the way the mind worked, naively, not realising how much work was involved in unpacking that curiosity. La Trobe at that time had a counselling course, specifically in counselling, so I've been passionately kind of connected and involved in family therapy, in working as a family therapist, in teaching family therapy and in supervising the work of other family therapists for a very long time. When family therapy began, it was mostly written about by white psychiatrists, usually male, uh, usually European, and it tended to describe a family as the nuclear family. So over the years, the definition of family has changed, and that's particularly important with First Nations families in Australia. When I arrived at Shepparton, at Rumbalara, to meet with the elders and meet with the potential students, they said, how long are you going to be here for? I said, well, it's kind of a couple of week course, but we might follow it up. They said to me, if you're interested in working with us, if you want to make a difference with our community, you need to be prepared to hang in there. And I had no idea that it would take me 15 years. So that's how long I was there for. And that's how long I needed to be there to even begin to say, I know something about the First Nations communities. I learnt a lot from my colleagues watching me work behind the screen and giving me feedback. And that got reinforced in the work with the First Nations group. I thought I was going to teach First Nations. What I realised was I was learning. When a student feels safe in the space, then the learning takes place without any effort. And that has always been a passion of mine. I love learning and I love learning from anyone, you know, very young children, very old people. And I want the students to have that experience of it is an exciting process, not an onerous process, not a shaming process. You know something now that you didn't know yesterday and isn't that exciting.